Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the various reasons for obeying God. Fortunately, some of these reasons can be understood in the same way, or in similar categories. So today, we'll be dealing with the first two, the moral obligation to obey God, and the sense that obeying God is the best thing for you. However, understanding these requires a little more information about the moral nature of God. Some of this we mentioned all the way back in Season 2, particularly in Episodes 19, 20, and 21. But it's worth mentioning again. God is the greatest possible being, and the only being who has perfect, unlimited goodness. Therefore, only He can be a sufficient standard for objective moral values. If you remember, this can actually be a proof for the existence of God. Since objective moral values exist, God must exist to give them their objectivity. God is the reason why some actions are really good and others are really evil. Some actions conform to his moral nature, and some refuse to conform to it. Really, the only question that still needs to be asked about this is, does this mean that God can just decide a certain thing like murder is evil one day and okay the next? Doesn't this make moral values arbitrary rather than objective? Nope. You see, as we discussed in episode 16, all of God's properties are timeless, and as we mentioned in episode 18, God's infinitely honest nature makes it impossible for him to break his word. Furthermore, the fact that he's timeless means that he'll never change his mind about what's objectively right and wrong. Taking all of these facts into consideration, we can conclude that God's nature is not only not an arbitrary basis for morality, but is actually more reliable than anything in the world. This infinite reliability is what makes moral values valid and binding no matter who you are, where you live, or what kind of society you were brought up in. Some things are really wrong, and others are really good. We have an obligation to do the good and to avoid the evil, and this is the first, and I think, best reason for obeying God. The second reason for obeying God is that we know it's the best thing for us. How do we know this? God is the source and true nature of all morality, and therefore his decisions are always moral ones. Because of this, we can count on him to mete out justice to those who've been wronged, and mercy to those who sincerely request forgiveness. Also, because God loves all his creations, he wants to do what's best for them. In other words, God wants to do good things for us. All we need to do in exchange is be sincerely sorry for having offended him. However, we can't be sure we're sincerely sorry unless we're trying to live moral lives. We don't have to succeed all the time, but we have to give it everything we've got. It's the best thing for us, because it means the path to accepting God's gifts will be much, much easier for us. This is how the nature of God gives us a good understanding of morality, and of what's best for us, and helps us to understand the first two reasons for obeying God. Now, these reasons should really be enough, but many people just aren't motivated by this sort of thing. That's why next week we'll be talking about trusting in God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.